Right. So we're looking at uh, building your personal brand of what you need to do projects. You, the focus is more about you than any other person. So let me share this with you. Over a decade ago, I was studying the subject of branding and I found out that personal branding was a very, of an area where little knowledge exists. So I searched on Amazon, there were less than 50 books to do with the subject of personal branding. So I delved deeper to find out what is happening, what is all about the brands and what people are talking about. Then I wrote a book, The Art of Personal Branding, uh, when I found the missing piece in personal branding of the book, The Corner Den, uh, with less than 50 books globally on the subject of personal branding, which became a bestseller uh, within a short period of time because of the team that helped me produce it. Now, this is the point. All the content that existed up to then or even now lack one key thing in building brands. Most of we're looking at virtual, social media, and all that. But one critical ingredient which, is, which was missing, which we're going to talk about in building yourself. So I define personal branding as how you distinctively market your uniqueness. This is a point, how you distinctively market your uniqueness. But in a word definition, personal brand is the combination of one's skills and talent to produce value. That creates an impression, a perception, and a reputation in the mind of others. The combination of one's skills and talent to produce what value for others. That would create an impression, a perception, and a reputation. Now, with this definition, we're going to look at how we can build a personal brand, a lasting, reputable one. Now, that's the point. Most of the time, we start off building our brands by going, looking at all the external things. But personal brands, authentic ones, are both inside out, not outside in. Not the colors, no logos, not the outfit, not all that. Those are important pieces of the brand. But most important is you. That's where you focus on project you, is building you yourself. So let's look at the missing piece that I discovered past 10 years ago, SP, purpose. The thing is that without a clear sense of purpose, you will build in a fake brand. So most of the time I tell people that there are a lot of celebrated fake brands around. The world applauds them, society applauds them, but most important is a missing piece. They don't know themselves. They are doing what daddy says you should do, society, pastor, whoever says, but they themselves are missing who they are. So how do you find, how do you build an authentic brand based on your purpose? Bill God decided, okay, I want to put PC on every single table in the world. That was purpose, to serve the world, to serve people, his purpose. So to build an authentic brand without a purpose is in vain. Now let's look at it critically. Purpose, P-U-R-P-O-S-E. The most important thing in building your brand now is P. P, what are your passions? What are you passionate about? You love cameras, you like videos, you like music. What do you love? What are you passionate about? That's the first point, uh, what are you passionate about? Then there's you, again, here's Project You. You need to understand yourself. What are going to date yourself? Not that guy, not that, not, not that, that lady, but you. Do you know yourself? Why do, why do color, black excite you? Why do you like red colors? What about you? Why do music excite you? You need to know yourself so well, so well. And that will cause you to build a brand based on knowing who you are. That's what we're talking about, self-discovery and all these places. So the you in purpose is you. Have you found yourself? You take self-assessment text, all the text to find your traits, who you are, your temperament. That alone leads your R. With your passions, your purpose, and understanding you, you need to resources. What are the resources, the tools that I need to sharpen my giftings? So most of the time, I tell people that all of us are like precious minerals. That in the dark crust of the earth, dirty, crude, raw, ugly, but until it's picked and polished, it will never shine. So the are in the resources, what are the tools that I need to polish my giftings? What are the tools? Maybe workshops like this, event books, resources, seminars, coaches, mentors. These are tools to help you sharpen your giftings to really understand who you are. Then you move on to the next P in purpose, positioning. It said that you can't be all things to all men. You need to do, it should be one, two, three. If you are more than that, you become jack of all people, master of none. So what, how do I position myself? How do I set myself apart from the masses? So I don't become just one of them. So the world doesn't celebrate your similarities. It celebrates your point of difference. That's where you come to peak and positioning. How different will you be if you are JDMC? How different are you from KKD? How different will you be 
positioning in your purpose. The O is opportunities. You know, when you start living your purpose, your dream, it creates opportunities for yourself. Okay, when there are programs, you're going to be writing, where, what are the things that people call you for? That means you are creating opportunities for yourself. So the O in purpose is opportunities. The S, see, the most important thing about building your brand and discovering your purpose is service. Listen, it's not about having the fame, the name, the money, and all that. Those are important factors. But most importantly, is to serve community, to serve people. Look at the great brands. Their ultimate goal is to serve as many people as they can. So if your gift is not serving humanity, then you are doing it wrong. So the S in purpose, how will I serve people? Am I serving people well with my passions, my giftedness? And the E in all these things, if you find your passions, you understand yourself, you find the resources to polish yourself, you position yourself, you sell well, it leads to the end thing. The good old book says that a good name is better than down riches. The E is you're going to earn a good name, a good reputation for your brand, you're discovering your purpose. You earn. Then the, your purpose also should earn you money, name, earn you something, income. If the passion, what you are passionate about is not earning, putting food on the table, it means you also are doing it wrong. So your purpose is finding your passions, understanding and understanding yourself, find the resources to polish your crafts, positioning yourself, setting yourself apart from others, and then creating opportunities for yourself to serve humanity. And if you serve well, you're going to earn a good name, a good reputation, good money, and all that. So the first most important factor in building your brand is finding you, your purpose. Once that is done, the rest become quite easier to build. As I mentioned, personal brands are built inside out, not what outside in. So let's look at the next critical thing. As I, I, as I define personal by the combination of skills and what talents to produce value. So value is the next most important thing in building your brand. What value are you bringing to the markets? What value are you giving to people? Again, I say forget about going viral and give what value is your substance that will build the world, bring the attention of the world to you. What value are you producing daily in your daily community, daily work that you do? Are you bringing value to help people? So value, finance, so what value can I bring? Can I offer to the masses? Again, so skills and what talents to produce value. Now, critical, let's put this piece together. Keynote, sk every skill is learnable. Every skill is learnable, but talent is raw. It's gifted. You are born, you gifted your talent. You didn't do anything about talent. You had it. But if you don't polish your giftings like the precious mineral, you will not shine. That's where the branding process comes in. The second place is processing, polishing yourself. So if you want to become a great speaker, a great author, whatever you want to become a great, you need to work on yourself. You see, until your moment of discovery comes, keep laboring in your obscurity. They might not know you. They might not have heard of you, but consistently you are working on yourself. You are working to produce value for the masses. You are working to produce value for people. So second phase is processing, polishing your pearls, working harder on yourself to produce what value. So you pick your raw talents, and you begin to add skills. What skills do you I need now to add to my existing talents? What skills? Find out the skill sets that you need to add to your talent to produce more value. And when you do that, you create that next impression. Okay, we know this group to do A. We know this person to do B. We know this person to do. So that impression will create a perception. And a long time, oh, they know that I use are great footballers. Oh, ACN is a good footballer. This person is a good speaker. That is because you've polished your pearls and you're producing value for people. The next thing I say concerning brands, as we know, is about visibility. This is the point. An undiscovered genus has no value in the marketplace. This is the point. You might be damn good, great at what you do, but if they don't know you, your value is little. They will pay you less, you no recognition, no value. So uh, here's a short example. Most of the time, you want to be visible. You want to be heard. You want to be known. The, the more people hear about you because you have something to offer, the more they see, the more they want to do business with you. So we said that people do business with those they know, they love, and they trust. So if you are great and you are not known, this way social media comes in, all the visual, all the channels come to be known. But if you've not worked on yourself, visibility will be in vanity for you. So most importantly, when you do the second bit, the process of polishing yourself, then you need visibility to, to start out. Now they can see you, they can hear you, they can, they, they, they can engage you. That is the most important thing about one, visibility.
once they can see, once they can hear, okay, they want to hire you, they want to recommend you, they want to refer business to you. So work on that. The next thing about your brand, which is critical, is differentiation. This is a point. Without differentiation, you have no brand. So in building your brand, focus on how different will I be? How different will you be from others? How different? If you have no point of difference, whether by virtue of your, uh, your appearance or your tone, anything that you want to be a point of difference. One example I use, look at when Riella came to stay out as a, as, as a musician. She came with a, with a background culture, with an energy in singing. And this is attributes set her apart from others. So what you come to the table with, your point of difference is what will set you apart from the masses. So key thing, you find your purpose, you look at your role talents, you polish it at skill sets. You look at what value do I bring to the marketplace? The next thing is visibility. How would I be known? How would, what are the channels to be known and to be discovered? They look at next, differentiation. If they don't know you, if you are, if there's nothing different about what you do, but I guess one of them, less value, less reputation, less, less credibility. But if you bring more value, point of differentiation, then your brand can shine. So the, with these things, you can go out boldly because you work on yourself, you labor in obscurity, you are putting things together to shine so that when the world engages with you, they know that there's something different you are bringing to the table. And lastly, I say, I say this to people, that as you seek to build your brand and seek to be known, and it's not about just being popular, it's about just people who need your products and service can find you. And in all this, I leave you with this, that you may not make a million dollars in life. A song may not be sung in praise of you. Monuments may not be erected in your name. But promise me this today, to live life fully, to give wholeheartedly, to do your best with what you have, to impact souls, to use your gift and talent to serve humanity, to live, to love, and live a legacy in your own way. God bless you. I'm Bernard Kelvin Clive. Build your brand today.